Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. My name is Justin and as an agency owner and icon partner with Wix, I often get asked for a walkthrough video on how to get to roles and permissions and grant my agency access. I'm going to talk a little bit about the roles and permissions section. Um, this will be a quick tutorial and I hope you find it beneficial. All right, so we're from the, our Wix dashboard and we're going to go to the far left here in the black column. You'll see a section called settings. So we'll click on settings and here you'll have access to everything in the back end of your site. And if you look here to the right, you'll see roles and permissions. We're going to click on roles and permissions. And you'll see in this site, I already have access here, but we're going to go to the top and we're going to go to invite people. And then you're going to type in for me, Justin at HT social. Co. You'll say add. When you do that, you'll then be prompted to select the role. The best role for us is always admin co-owner, especially if it's an e-commerce site. But website manager also allows us to do basic functionality and update the site, make edits, um, and do everything that doesn't include billing. If you're just hiring us for quick web patches and fixes, this is the one that you would want to select web designer. Um, and then this is for any team members who need to manage um, site settings and control some of the apps. And then you can go through each section and select what access you would like to have. But this one as a general role selects everything. Okay, you can see everything selected. And then you would send the invite here. And then in this section, you would select an agency or freelancer who helps me build sites. And then you click done. And there you go. It would say sent, but I'm already here. So just want to show you where that was and hope that is helpful.